Hi, you're watching Global Energy Show's 5x5 series. I'm Rachel Gregory, and today I'm joined by Andrew White, CEO of Char Technologies. Andrew, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me, Rachel. It's a pleasure to be with you. All right, Andrew, can you tell us about Char Technologies? What makes you different in the industry? Absolutely. And Char really has a, a great differentiator. The technology is called high temperature pyrolysis. But all you really need to remember about that is high temperature means like 800 degrees Celsius. Pyrolysis just means without oxygen. So we're taking things like wood waste. We put it in this big tube, we heat it up without any oxygen, and we create two products. One is a gas and one is a carbon. So the carbon we use as a bio coal can offset metallurgical anthracite coal and in heavy industries like steelmaking. These industries need solid carbon as one of the ingredients in their processing. And so their options are fossil coal and creating lots of greenhouse gases or bio coal and avoiding greenhouse gas emissions. And steelmaking accounts for 8% of global GHG emissions. So it's a really big problem that we're excited to, to help address. The other product we make is this gas. This gas can go into either green hydrogen as that market develops, or right now where our market opportunity is a product called renewable natural gas. So let's talk more about high temperature pyrolysis. What are the key benefits of this? Getting to the high temperatures is important because basically what we're doing is we're converting the fixed carbon in that woody biomass into this solid almost charcoal and into this really clean gas that can go through kind of standard upgrading processes to get it to that renewable natural gas quality and that's really the important element of doing this at, at this high temperature is making sure we're making quality carbon outputs that can be used by industry and making sure we're making quality gas that could be further processed and upgraded to this pipeline spec to get into the gas pipeline. Andrew, Char Technologies recently received funding to expand the HTP facility in Ontario. Can you tell us more about the facility and what this means for the path to net zero? We received $12.8 million in government support from both the Canadian federal government and the, the provincial government here in Ontario. And that's to expand our, our facility. So our current facility produces 1,000 tonnes per year of bio coal. The funding is to scale this up to produce 10,000 tonnes a year. And so there's a couple of ways to think about how that helps with overall net zero goals. For each tonne of coal that we replace with bio coal, we're basically reducing greenhouse gas emissions by three tons. That's how much greenhouse gas emissions are associated with one ton of coal. It's pretty substantial. The other way to look at it is from, you know, what do industrial users need? So two of the three large steel companies in Ontario, Algoma and DeFasco, received federal funding to convert from older technologies called basic oxygen furnace, blast furnace, to newer technologies called electric arc furnace. So an electric arc furnace uses much less coal. But as I was saying earlier, you still need it as an ingredient in that steel making. Each of these facilities will need in the range of 30,000 to 50,000 tons per year of solid carbon into their process. And so by swapping in our bio coal, they can hit that net zero steel production by eliminating coal. Let's talk about biocarbon. How is Char Technologies helping industries save money while decarbonizing for a circular economy? It's a great question and, and really there's a bit of terminology that, you know, I think the industry is still figuring out at Char and I think others as well. We call the solid that comes out of our system biocarbon. So that's kind of the, the overarching how we process it so we can change our processing conditions. And that'll dictate whether we make bio coal or we make biochar and sort of sort of the way each of those helps in climate change and help companies achieve net zero targets is the bio coal is, is just a swap. So we're swapping fossil coal with bio coal. So that would be considered considered carbon neutral. Biochar is generally used as a fertilizer additive, a soil amendment. It's basically sequestering carbon in the soil. So when you're producing biochar, you're actually doing a carbon negative process because you're putting that carbon in the ground where it will stay for a thousand years. And there's ways to monetize that. There's voluntary carbon credits that recognize the sequestration potential of biochar and you can trade credits. Canada has made a commitment to reach net zero by 2050. Do you think this is doable? And if so, are we on the right track? 2050 is 
far enough into the future that I think it, it is absolutely doable. There's all sorts of clearly technologies required, you know, across how we live our lives, how we conduct business, how we produce our products to get us there. But if you look at 2050 from 2020, where were we 30 years ago in all sorts of industries? So I think absolutely it's, it's achievable. I think now is the time to press harder on the accelerator. However, because a lot of these larger industrial decarbonization processes, there's kind of the level of developing pilot technology. And I'm talking, you know, generally not just about ourselves. You know, you have to get that deployed and proven on a site. That'll take a few years. And then permitting will take a few years. You know, construction, project management, project finance is a huge one. That'll take a few years. So all of a sudden, 2050, it's still far away, but it gets, you know, a lot closer when you start to build in these requirements around doing these big decarbonization projects. Canada in general, we've got a lot of really smart, talented people who are passionate about this problem. And I think the economic drivers are there that, you know, everyone else is following along as well. So I'm really excited about the journey to net zero. And I'd love to see us hit it even earlier. Thank you so much, Andrew. It was great chatting with you today and learning more about Char Technologies. A pleasure. Thanks for having me, Rachel. And thank you for watching Global Energy Show's 5x5 series. You can like this video, share it to your network, and of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of our latest videos. See you